You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. A look at Oroville from earlier this morning. Still very cloudy, gray skies out there. Roads are still very slick from all the rain we've seen over the last couple of days. We're going to check in with Patrick right now. He's live in the Storm Tracker Weather Center. Patrick, what can we expect moving into our work week? We will see the arrival of another atmospheric river, which will impact northern California. But during the day on Monday, it will just be scattered showers similar to what we're seeing today. Looking outside right now, this is from the Deer Creek Highway camera looking towards the west with Chico in the foreground here. We can see some clouds moving through, but just a moment ago, you could see a rain shaft or an area of uh, you know, clouds from a distance with rain falling out there towards the ground. But here's what we have for tonight. Hit and miss showers continuing for most places. Scattered showers will continue to be around tomorrow, but we will have another atmospheric river arriving tomorrow night. Temperatures tonight dipping down into the upper 40s for the valley, right around 50 degrees the farther south you go. As we head into tomorrow, temperatures will be very similar to what we saw today, if not slightly warmer given a warmer air mass moving in by the late afternoon to early evening hours. Temperatures topping off in the mid 50s to upper 50s for the valley. Timing out some of the rain tonight, we could see some spots of heavy rain this evening by 8 p.m., especially out towards the north end of the valley. Some picking up out towards the western side of Glen County. That'll push through tonight, giving away to tomorrow morning, 630. Just a few scattered showers in the valley to get your day started. But that will pretty much be the pattern continuing throughout the day. More chances for rain tomorrow afternoon in the north end of the valley and along the foothills. Snow levels hovering right around 6,000 feet. The next big push of moisture comes late tomorrow night. By 11 p.m., a lot of rain moves in for the majority of our region, which means the valley getting a nice dose of rain, and that'll continue through Tuesday morning by 7 a.m. Heavy at times, indicated by the oranges and the yellows, but breaking up by Tuesday evening, where we start to see the tail end of this atmospheric river move through, and that's when you can start to see some snow levels dropping just by a couple thousand feet, down to around three, maybe four thousand feet, rather than six. 6,000 feet. So here's what we have for rain totals through Wednesday morning. We could see between one and a half to two inches of rain in parts of the valley. These numbers will likely alter a little bit as we head into the next couple of days and really hone in how much moisture is moving in with this system. But we will see a lot of rain impacting our rivers. When it comes to the mountains, there is a winter storm warning in effect for the Sierra. That'll last through Wednesday evening because of all the rain and snow moving through. Snow levels hovering right around 6,000 feet, but places around 8,000 feet could get up to 5 feet plus of snow. When it comes to our local area in the valley, we will have flood watch. We have a flood watch in effect. This is through Wednesday, so we will see the chance for some rivers, creeks, and streams flooding in some areas. So far, the Sacramento River looks to be in good shape. Just watching a couple places we'll have to keep an eye on in Glen County, but for now, the main concern is around those flood prone, or flood prone areas and those small creeks and streams. High wind watches will also be in effect starting Monday night into Tuesday. We could see gusts up to about 60 miles per hour in the valley and the foothills as this is a windier event compared to what we had just a couple days ago. But here's what we have for the next couple of days. After this atmospheric river moves through, Wednesday will be a day of transition. Temperatures warming up to the lower 60s, clearing out by the afternoon and the evening, and the mild weather continues into Thursday. So that's some good news to let us let some of the water flow through our river systems. But heading into the end of the week, we will see a few clouds moving through here and there, but it will include the chance for some showers. Details are still uncertain at this point in time. Good things to keep an eye out for. Thanks, yes. Patrick.